last week we were joined by Regan Duvall to learn how to make an easy wooden stool base with simple hand tools. Today, Ashley is going to show us how to finish it off with a boho-inspired macrame top. I don't know about you, but spending more time at home has given me interior design a virus. <laughs> and this easy and affordable macrame project is a really fun way to change up the style in your interior spaces. So it's a good idea, yeah. And a lot of people probably need a little stool like this, maybe at their computer desk that they just got or made. Is hint, hint. Hint, hint, you want to take it home with you? I mean, I, I did just get a desk and don't have a chair yet, but... Um, <laughs> okay, well, but yeah. if you can do the macrame, okay. we will talk about it. So Challenge this, accepted. <laughs> this is the stool that we made, and you can go back to the actual segment that's online and find out exactly how to make this. The instructions are on there and everything. It's really easy hand tools. And we'll it link makes it to a, this article as well. Yes, and it makes a good, good base. The only other thing you need is rope or macrame cord. I did put polyurethane and kind of sand this down to make it kind of nicer, but I'm using quarter inch rope and it you can you have to cut it to about four to six times the length of what you want it to be in the end. So you can kind of measure how long you want it to be and then add about six times length. And then in this case, we're starting it doubled over. So it really would be doubled that even. Okay. So for, depending on what size, and this is a range because it could be like a taller stool or a wider, more of a footstool. So you there have pieces that start out at um, the middle. Yeah, and they're 10 feet long to start with your pieces. And okay. then the one that I started, I did at 20 feet long just to show the difference. And we'll have to show pictures when we're done because we're not gonna get it done in the six minutes. But the longer the cord, the harder it is to work with too. So if you're a beginner, right. you might wanna start out like that. But the first thing you do is cut your pieces to the right size, and then you have to attach them to the first side of the stool. And to do that, you do a lark's head not, and I already did ours for us, but I took a video of it so everyone could see how you do it at home. Okay. So you just wanna make sure that your rope is even on the ends so that they're even at the end of it. And then you start with a looped end, put it behind this piece down, and then just grab onto those strings and pull them through. Okay, so that's all you do to start it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that's a lark said knot, and that's the way a lot of macrame projects start. It's really easy, and then you put as many on here as you need. Or most, fit. yeah, most macrame projects, you want to kind of figure out what you're going to use for a knot. Usually, it's in increments of four or six strings to get the right knot, so you just want to make sure you have the right number when you're done. So I started yours with 12, which is a really good number to start with for this pattern, um, but you could fit more on. Just make sure you fit as many on that will complete another set of the patterns. So this is really what we're using as our seat yeah. for our bottom, so it's what's going to hold this up. So I mean, do you recommend using more so that it's more like sturdy to hold us? Yes, so the rope is thick, so I think that's sturdy, but also what knot you choose. You can do a really loose weave, which isn't gonna feel as sturdy, or if you see the one I started that with, it's pretty thick. Mm -hmm. Very thick, yeah. And that one's a really fun kind of circle pattern, which I'm gonna have how to do that whole thing online and sort of a digital, digital extra, because it is really pretty, but it's yeah, a like little that. bit more complicated than you have to be. So another way to do it is just to do square knots Kay. down the entire thing and that's what I'm going to show you how to do now and I took a little video of this too so you take four of the pieces together fold the left one over the most right one will come over that and then back through the loop and then you tighten it up to where you want it to be and then you just do the exact opposite on the other side so pull the the rope that's on the right hand side over the top of the two middle ropes the left one's over that, and then it comes back through that loop, and you pull it tight again. It kind of reminds me of friendship bracelets I used to make with string back in Definitely. Like middle school. You probably did. Yeah, you make like a four, same. and then you tuck it under, and you pull it, and you can do different patterns. It kind of reminds me of that. Yeah. In a way. So let's see you give it a try. Okay, so first I take the four pieces. Mm -hmm. so I have that right here. Yes. And then I make a four. That's a great way of saying it. Right? Looks yeah, like a four. Yeah, it does look like a four. I hadn't thought of that. And then you take the fourth piece, bring it over the top. Yep. So still looks like a four. Still looks like a four. With this fourth piece over top. Then you bring the fourth piece that's over top underneath. Mm -hmm. And when you put it underneath, you want to bring it up through this four hole. Yep. And then you bring it through. Oops, got stuck on the thing. And then I just bring it up and pull it tight to yeah, where you tight. want it to be. So you want the knot itself to be pretty tight, but depending on what you're using, like for example, you're not 
at an even start there because right. the ropes are kind of different. So you just want to make sure it's kind of even where you want it to be. Okay. So then to finish this knot, I do the opposite. Yep. Make the four the other way. Bring the fourth piece up. I could see how this could be difficult if your ropes are really um, yeah. long. Then I go underneath and then I come out through the, the hole. Yes. Brittany K, I think macrame is going to be your thing. I like doing things like this. This is also, I'll tell you, um, so while you, you've got that knot done, now go to your next set of four strings and do okay. another knot. And same then I'll thing. Yep, do the exact same thing, and then I can tell you how you're going to be able to keep going down to make the entire seat. Um, you know, one of the things I think is great about this, if you, in a lot of stores have, you can do curbside pickup of rope still. And to get something like this, I really got into some of these handcrafts when I had my last baby and I was in the hospital for so long. And the thing about this is it's very relaxing and meditative because you're kind it of is. counting out. Oops. I got to do a knot and it's, you can still watch TV or talk to somebody while you do it, but it keeps your brain a little bit engaged in a somewhat re repetitive motion, which yeah. I think is really, a lot of us can use that right now. It does distract you because I'm getting focused on this, so I'm not thinking about maybe the things that are stressing me out. Yeah. So I did do both now. So, so now, pretend I did this all the way if through. If you were going to go all the way through, then on the next row, you just want to stagger it. So take your first two ropes and put them aside. You're not going to okay. use them. And then use the next four, four to do another square knot. So in this square knot, you're using two from the square knot above it and two from the other square knot above it. Okay. And that way oh, you yeah. get kind of a, a weave as you go and it joins it all the way down. And then you just keep going? And then you just keep going. So a really easy way to finish this entire stool would be to do square knots all the way down. But you can also kind of mix and match. So I, I had, on this one I started with square knots and then I started doing what's called a diagonal double hitch to make these V's. And then I'm going to add some circles. You can kind of do whatever you want with it and be creative, but you could do that all the way down and make it cool. Interesting. Okay. Fun, right? Yeah, I feel like I could definitely do this. It I does remind can. me so much of making bracelets. So, well, I'll put that's the rest. Fun. I'll put the finished product online. Yeah, this looks beautiful. All right, thanks so much, Ashley, for teaching us how to do this. You're welcome.